Hello there. Our lesson for today is on workshop safety. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to state causes of workshop accidents, list type of accidents that occur in workshops, state workshop safety rules and regulations, and identify some workshop accidents preventive measures. In the context of basic technology, a workshop is a place where technological and engineering works are carried out. In more simple terms, a workshop is a place where goods are manufactured or repaired. A basic fact is that accidents can happen anywhere and anytime, even in workshops too. A workshop accident is any activity that causes harm or injury to someone in a workshop while he or she is working. So, what could be the possible causes of these accidents? Do you have ideas? Here are some. Lack of safety devices. Failure to use safety devices provided. Failure to follow laid down methods for handling tools, equipment, and machines. Overconfidence. Engaging in horseplay in the workshop. Electrical faults from machines. Mechanical faults from machines. Failure to replace worn out tools. Inadequate lighting and ventilation. Ignorance. Lack of concentration due to tiredness. What are the types of accidents that could occur in the workshop? There are five major categories of workshop accidents. They are electrical accident, machine accident, fire, hand tool, and environment accident. Electrical accidents happen as a result of faulty wiring, incorrect cable fixing, naked electrical wires, earth grounding not provided on all motors, fuse boxes, switch boxes, etc., and the overloaded socket as a result of the use of multi-adapters. Machine accidents are basically as a result of faulty machine parts and lack of technical know-how on principles of operating the machines. Fire accidents may also happen because highly flammable substances are stored in the main building and no smoking rule is not prominently displayed. Accidents caused by hand tools usually happen due to the improper use of sharp edge tools, which can be by carrying these tools in the packet or using the right tools for the wrong job. This is an image of an accident caused by hand tools. Now that we've learned about the categories of accidents, it is important to also know the safety devices that should be used or worn in the workshop to avoid these accidents. Fire alarm is an equipment which sounds a warning noise whenever it detects the presence of smoke or fire in a building. Goggles and visors protect the eyes against metallic objects, dust, and high intensity light. Gloves protect the hands against corrosive metals, burns, cuts, electric shock, ETC. Fire extinguishers, sand buckets, and sand are used to fight and control fire outbreaks. They are kept in strategic positions in the workshops or buildings. Special workshop shoes made of thick soles and metal caps are used for foot protection. Aprons and overalls protect inner clothes from dirt. Water hoses are pipes used to provide water for cooling and putting off the fire. A fire blanket is a material which is used to cover and put off fire. In addition to using safety devices, always remember the safety rules and regulations. Wear industrial protective clothing or aprons. Wear a protective pair of shoes with strong toe caps. Never carry sharp tools in your pockets. Put them on a tool rack. 
Keep tools in the locker after use. Do not use chisels or files without handles. Wear goggles or eye shield while griddling your tools. Do not operate a machine unless you have been taught its working operations and obtained permission to use it. Never overload a machine. Do not allow the workshop floor to become slippery. Report any injury, no matter how small, and ask for the first aid treatment when necessary. Some accident prevention techniques are 1. Routine checking and servicing, which involves checking all the machines to ensure that they are in good condition before setting them up for use. 2. Routine servicing, which involves servicing all machines and changing the worn out parts regularly so that they can work effectively. 3. Individuals should avoid noise making in the workshop because this can make them lose concentration on the work. 4. Electronic equipment should be used with voltage stabilizers to prevent electrical fire as a result of a power surge. 5. To prevent workshop accidents, every workshop lesson or practice session should be supervised by the teacher. Students should not be left alone in the workshop. Food for thought. It is wiser to prevent an accident from happening than to cure the harm done after the accident. This brings us to the end of the lesson on workshop safety. Here are seven questions you should be able to answer. List three causes of workshop accidents. State four types of workshop accidents. List five workshop safety devices. List seven workshop safety rules and regulations. Explain accident prevention techniques and measures.